Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve the problem swapping nodes in a linked list. So first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement and then the logic part and then we'll be moving to the coding part, right? But before proceeding further to the video, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you and make sure to join our Telegram community as well, right? The Telegram link is given the description itself and in case you are facing any problem in joining the channel you can simply search placement forwarding is Soumya Vasti you will be able to find my uh, telegram channel right we are a family of 7000 plus members so make sure to join the genuine group only right I have found that there are some other groups as well named as placement forwarding so that's the thing that I have mentioned here right so let us start with the problem statement uh, now so you are given the head of a linked list and an integer k return the head of the linked list after swapping the values of the kth node from the beginning and the kth node from the end right so basically we are we are just having the head of a linked list and we are having an integer value k what you have to do do is you have to swap the values right you have to swap the values of the kth node that is there from the beginning part and the kth node that is there from the end part and you have to swap the values of these nodes right so that's how it is so this is our linked list and the k value is 2 so what is this kth value what is the kth value from the beginning 2 right the second value from the beginning is 2 and from the end the second value is what 4 so what we have to do is we have to swap them so you will be swapping the value so 4 will come here 2 will go there right similarly here as well we are having a linked list and here the k value is 5 so fifth value 1 2 3 4 5 right and this is from the beginning and from the end what we are having fifth value is 1 2 3 4 5 so this 7 and 8 are going to be swapped and after swapping them 8 will come here and 7 will go there right so that's what we will be having so the constraint has been provided right now um, if you will go through the hint itself so what they have mentioned that what you can do is for solving this problem uh, I believe that most of you having this thought as well in their mind that what we can do is we can transform the linked list to an array and definitely it will ease up the things for us so what we will be doing is we will be transforming the linked list that we do have to an array and then what you have to do is you have to simply swap the value the kth value from the beginning to the kth value from the end we have to swap these values and what and then what we can do is right if this is the same thing that they have mentioned and then we can rebuild the linked list and we can simply return the head of the linked list right so that's how we are going to approach this particular problem and another way is uh, that is possible here what we can do is that on the simply traversal basis for now if you will go with that approach that i just discussed where you have to you know it store the values in a in an array and then we will be doing doing the swapping and then we will be building the linked list so obviously you are going to consume the extra space as well other possibility that you can go with is that you are simply swapping the values of the nodes you are not swapping the nodes you are simply swapping the values right here even in the question itself they have specified that you have to swap the values of the kth node from the beginning to the kth node from the end and the first approach that i mentioned okay so here you can see what at first of all uh, we are going to make an array with the help of the linked list that we are having so we are having an array list named as arr and what we're going to do is we have taken a variable that is pointing to our we have taken a list node uh, type variable iter that is pointing to the head itself right so what we are going to do is we will be going through all the elements and we are going to store those elements those values that is present in the node we are going through all the nodes and we are going to store the values in the array list so you can see what we are doing is that while iter not equal to null it means that we haven't reached to the end to the null you have to continue in the loop and then we are simply adding the value so arr dot add Iter dot well, whatever is the value at that particular node, add this to our array list. So that's what we are doing, and we are simply moving further, right? Iter equal to iter dot x. So now we have stored all the values, right? So let's say after go, doing this traversal, after doing this traversal, this is these are the array elements. These are the elements that our array list ar is having one, two, three, four, five. Now for this particular um, 
test case let's say the value of k is 2 okay so what should be the uh, what should be our output in that scenario the output should be 1 4 3 2 5 right 1 4 3 2 5 that's the same 1 4 3 2 5 right so that should be our output so what we are simply doing you can see this k value is given to us as 2 1 2 this is the element and from the end this is the element 4 so we are just swapping them uh, on the index basis if you will check you know that indexing always starts from 0 indexing starts from here indexing starts from 0 so this is at the index this is at the index 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 so simply we are swapping the value that is present at k minus 1 because k value is 2 so that is present at the position k minus 1 with the value that is present at n minus k position n minus k position n is n is the size is the number of elements that we do have in our array so what is the number of elements here 5 minus you will be having 3 and you can see at the third index we are having this 4 and we are swapping this 2 which is the first index with this 4 right so you must have understood what i'm trying to explain here so that's what we have done here that n is storing the size n is storing the size of our array and we are simply we are uh, like i have defined this function swap here to which we are passing this arr the position k minus 1 the index of the first element and the index of the second element n minus k so here in the swap function we are doing nothing we are just performing the swap operation that in le first of all we are storing the value that is there in at the ith index and then what we are doing is at the ith index we are setting the value that is present at the gth index and at the gth index we are setting that value which is there at the ith index that we have stored in the le le variable right so this is a simple swapping thing that we are doing here now here what we are doing is we are simply as if see in the hint itself that was mentioned that what we have to do is we have to rebuild the linked list so as if our temp variable here that is pointing to the that is pointing to the head itself so what we are doing is five temp value is not equal to null so we are just simply you know storing the values from the array list that is having the swapped value that is having the actual output that we need right so array dot er dot get type we are storing this to temp dot well and we are proceeding further in the linked list right and uh, then we are simply returning the head okay so i hope that part must be clear for you so guys i think that you must have got a proper understanding regarding the problem statement as well as the code part that we discussed just now right so this was the first approach let me know in the comment section that what is the time complexity and the space complexity for this approach that we discussed and also try for the second approach that i mentioned where you don't have to do anything you have to simply swap the values of the nodes right because that's what even specify in the question that what you can do is uh, swapping the values of the kth node from the beginning and the kth node from the end so you can just try that approach as well for that you don't have to use any extra space so that would be an advantage so this is it for this video guys i have provided the code link in the description itself for the reference purpose so you can just check it out in case of any confusion so that's it from my side thank you for watching watching everyone don't forget to share and subscribe my channel bye bye